This might be the biggest story to ever break on the internet. This might be the story that changes your life forever, okay? This is not a joke, and this is not a test. Colin Kaepernick accuses his white adopted parents of problematic upbringing and perpetuating racism. Nothing says like I'm grateful for you adopting me like calling your parents a racist. Hey, you're a racist. And here's what the news story is from. Let's watch a little clip. <laughs> I'm here for it and you better be as well. Who's spreading a message of empowerment in his new graphic. Hold on, my chat just like went haywire. Hold on. All right. Let me just reopen my chat. Why did my chat just break? You know, this is what the, the perks of doing live streams. Okay, we're back up, we're running. My chat just went down. All right, let's keep watching. Novel, Change the Game. Written with author and University of Chicago professor, Eve L. Ewing. I love how you made yourself in this book, not as some big shot hero, mm -hmm. but as a shy, insecure high schooler like right. we all were. Right, so shy, just like, I don't want any attention. I'm not gonna like take a knee in front of everyone. Just a shy little kid, I love it. He's down to earth, he's just like you and me. It's beautiful to see, you love to see. Congratulations. <laughs> is this fake news? I wish. <laughs> this is CBS, okay? I mean, I'm speaking for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Growing up, I was a, uh... I think still I'm a pretty introverted person. I hope it's true to form. <laughs> I'm so introverted. That's why I'm doing this interview. I'm introverted. Hey, don't put the cameras on me. I'm an introvert. I'm very meek. <laughs> don't do a documentary on me. <laughs> don't put posters on me everywhere. I'm an introvert. And that's just kind of how I navigate the world. It's mm. his true high school coming of age story. His journey embracing his blackness, despite resistance from many, including his white adoptive parents. Yeah. Love me, but there were still very problematic things that. Ah, uh, right. Nothing says like I'm a full adult like talking crap about your parents on live TV. It's just refreshing to see. I mean. <laughs> Look at these freaking bigots. Oh my god, they're terrible. Oh, he looks like he hates them. I mean, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, sick. I feel bad for him. Let's pray for him. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Uh, I mean, change the game, a graphic novel. Uh, so does he partly hate himself? Yeah, exactly. Cap is a joke. How dare you say that? Uh, sometimes parents cannot be a very good, it's a thing. Yeah, that is true. Uh, but maybe you don't talk about how terrible of a parents you were, especially if you were adopted on live TV. I mean, look how terrible of a human being this person. They should have just left him. <laughs> I went through. I think it was important to show that, no, this can happen in your own home and how we move forward collectively mm. while addressing the racism that is being perpetuated. He took cues from his icon, basketball star. And let's find out what was the most racist thing he could come up with and the most problematic thing that he could, you know, talk about his parents on live TV about. Let's find out what is devastating him as an adult today. Are Allen Iverson, who he said wore his blackness like a suit of armor. And teenage Kaepernick wanted cornrows to match. He's getting what roles, his mom asked? Oh, your hair's not professional. Oh, you look like a little thug. Your mom become. said that to you. Yeah. And those become spaces where it's like, okay, how do I navigate this situation now? But Right, it's like, my mom always let me get whatever haircut I wanted, no matter what age I was. <laughs> oh. Put these people in jail. I'm not kidding. Put these people in jail right now. This is not a joke. Get these people, lock them up, throw away the key. I don't want to see their faces ever again. The face of white supremacy is all over again. You think you're going to get in them cone rolls, boy? <laughs> God. <laughs> all right, keep going. But it also is informed why I have my hair long today. The grown up. Yes, as, as a man in my 20s, nothing says F you to my parents like finally getting the haircut I always dreamed of having. Why I have my hair long today. The grown up version of Eve wanted mm. to go back in time and give young Colin mm. a lot of hugs. And I was really 
moved and saddened by the level of right. kind of self-awareness that he had to develop at a very young age without a lot Thank of you. guidance. The former NFL quarterback who once led the 49ers to the Super Bowl wow. touchdown, Colin Kaepernick, was known in high school for his baseball. The pitcher even had major league interest, but he bucked public pressure and followed his heart to the gridiron. How do you wear your blackness, says Papa? Oh, you must be white. <laughs> you don't get it. There were a lot more black people in football. That was like, I found some community here. Do you still want to play football professionally? Mm, mm, I only like being around my own kind is like literally what he said. Awesome. Are you racist? <laughs> Absolutely. I woke up this morning before our events, trained five, six days a week. I'm still up at 4.30, I go get my training in. That passion is still there, and the ability is still there. <laughs> Except, you know, when whole NFL teams try to scale, schedule a tryout, then you don't show up, and then you want to change the rules and stuff like that. Yeah, you're amazing. Uh, it's just like, what, what are we, why do they shove these people in our faces? I mean, this is CBS. Who is still talking about freaking Colin Kaepernick? Nobody. Nobody cares and they're just like look you need to care about this person this person will one day run for the president of the united states and you need to celebrate him forever